Hello Libra, welcome to your January 2021 general read. This is the read where I channel messages from Source, Higher Self, God, um, and whatever messages they want to give you regarding all areas of your life. So please like, subscribe, hit the little bell icon, and leave comments down below. I love to interact with you guys if the messages resonate. If they do not re uh, resonate, remember these are general reads. Check your moon and rising as well. And they just may not resonate. They're not for you. Okay? Or just take what you need to take and that's it. Alrighty, let's see what other messages we have here. What's going on for my Libras? What's the highest message for my Libras? I may or may not do an extended. If I do, the link will be down below. Usually I get really in-depth in these reads. Um, if I feel that I could go a lot further, I will. Alright guys, here we go. Libra, what is the highest message for Libra? We have freedom and faith. And that's a really, really great message. And I'm just getting this quick message right now. Um, freedom. You're finally learning, I think, to detach from all these bonds that you have to pass things and your faith, you're having more faith in the universe and faith in manifesting and faith in um, just a new way of thinking and understanding things. I feel like this newfound freedom is bringing in material and spiritual prosperity. Um, it's right around the corner. It's happening now. I, I feel like you're starting to feel... Um, you're starting to feel the work. You're starting to, you've done the work and you're starting to feel and understand what it means to be free from these attachments. So it says, I no longer want this fiery ring of resentment to block the good, release me from its bonds. And in doing so, you have material and spiritual prosperity right, right now, right around the corner, right in front of your face, I feel like, right in front of your face. I love it. Let me get one more. And miraculously, amazingly, everything I need always comes. There's your affirmation too for the week. Everything I need always comes. Love is open in me to receive beyond anything I imagine. Affirm. Affirm. Everything I need always comes. Everything I need always comes. Every moment's perfect. Every moment's perfect. Stuck energy. As we were saying that. There is still a little bit of stuck energy that needs to be released, okay? I feel like you, as I'm saying this, I feel like you may know what this is. Um, and because the more free you become to past attachments, the more things are coming up for you and you are starting to understand triggers and understand what's going on. Um, but there's still some stuck energy there. Something in your... Um, in your mind, in your thoughts, um, holding you back. So maybe going within, meditating, and really asking spirits to bring that up for you and show you, show you what's stuck, show you what's there, um, and how, and guide you on how to move forward. Ask for the signs. Ask for the guidance to move forward. All right, Libras, because. I feel as though you know that you will receive the help and the guidance if you ask for it. You have the faith now. You understand what is happening here. And you are right in the mist, right around the corner from material and spiritual prosperity. Let's see what comes up in tarot for you. We have playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. This could have something to do with that stuck energy. Um, maybe you are desiring to meet somebody, to go out there, start dating again. Or you're, maybe you're in a relationship and it's not moving anywhere. And you are just in this really bored state, I'm feeling. Um, and you really want to do something, but you've you just um, are stuck and I get this playfulness card it's like it's time to do something just extra um, unordinary right now go out and just do something different 
pick something, go try it. I know we're limited in many ways right now, but we're not in many ways. There are things opening up. There's things to go do. If you haven't been going to the gym for a while, if you haven't been um, going out for uh, hikes or anything like that, just start doing that and, and getting together with your friends and recapturing um, some playfulness. If you're in with your partner, okay, if you are in a relationship and it's, it feels dull right now. We have healing family issues as well. So this is also telling me this is some stuck energy. Um, this could be affecting your love life. Something that's going on in your family. Um, it may not be directly about you, but it has its effects on you. And because it's affecting you, it's affecting your mood, which is affecting your relationship or affecting you from going out and meeting somebody or the desire to, um, to get ready to even attract somebody in. You're just, something's weighing heavy on you. And it may be time to forgive your parents or forgive siblings or, uh, you know, just for, you know, forgiving for yourself so that you can move forward um, and, and focus on yourself right now. Okay, we have honeymoon period though. So enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. And this could be a past life relationship if this is somebody new coming in or this could be somebody that you are recapturing moments with. Um, it feels as though you have decided to go out or possibly go out um, again and rekindle this, this playfulness, which feels like new again. Okay. And this person, you've known each other before. If this is a new person coming in, if you are meeting somebody new, it'll feel as though you are on the, like you just know something about one another. And possibly you do know each other from before. If this is a reconciliation of somebody from the past, but let's see what tarot says. Let's see how it comes out. I always try to keep the storylines open to, you know, couples, singles, um, past situation. Past is always coming back right now. Especially right now, guys. Understand that with the shift in energy on this planet right now. Everything's coming up, ground up. It's all coming out and up. So we're dealing, we're facing with things that we're attached to and emotional uh, negative energies and, and things like that. So lots of that comes from the past, right? So your past will be coming back in some form or another, even if it's just thoughts or it's actual physical people and issues coming up, which is why you could be dealing with that family issue that's coming up that has just started to arise and it's affecting you deeply emotionally. That could be the trigger. Pay attention, okay? We have... The Eight of Pentacles, okay? So this is progress. This is, this is, I feel like this is progress towards your spirituality. This is what we're talking about here um, with the freedom, letting go and learning to let go. It's like you're feeling, you're getting lighter. You're getting lighter. You're studying it up. You understand. You're starting to really understand the messages that you receive, okay, from your spirit guides, from your angels. I feel like you may even connect a lot deeper now, and you feel them around you, and you can feel the wings. You may even start feeling your own wings and understanding that you could be a light worker or um, an earth angel as well, too, and you're receiving these messages. But there's been progress here, and this is the progress in your spiritual life. So you know and you understand the, me the messages here. Your faith is growing stronger and you can feel this heavy darkness now, this stuck energy. You're at this point where you're so light and you're doing so much work that you know when there's something coming up. And this could possibly, again, for you guys, be this family issue that needs to be maybe simple forgiveness and healing the heart chakra and just moving forward. Um, you never have to allow somebody to ever treat you the way they did before. You obviously have to set a boundary, but forgiving and loving people, regardless of the light or dark, whatever side they choose to be on is one of the hardest things to do in this world. Um, but if you're choosing to ascend and move into a 5D, a uh, highest version of yourself and to find this faith and spirituality, and really truly understand then you understand that you have to love and accept everybody the light and the dark even if these people have done something to you to hurt you or somebody you love um it's all about forgiveness and loving and understand you don't have to think those ways or or like it you just have to love and accept and move forward and move on okay i know that's hard to take but that's the next step 
in ascendant. And ascendant is understanding there is the need for dark and light. And we're all here on our own journeys and we all experience things that are um, really traumatic, and, you know, different levels, different levels. You know, trauma for somebody could be, uh, a, a, could feel, a, a divorce could feel like um, being beat to somebody else. You know what I mean? We all have different levels of pain and what we consider, you know, personal trauma. But we go through these things to grow at, in our human form so that we can, we, we can, grow and become more uh, higher advanced spiritual beings by understanding and also these experiences help us help others so you go through these things as a contrast as well so that you can see the difference between light and dark right so there is progress being made but remember that is part of it is the forgiveness the letting go here of that stuck energy, this five of cups here, this sorrow, this grief, holding on to the memories of how um, a situation made you feel and forgiving and understanding that things like this happen, dark and light, dark and light. There's always duality. There's always, you know, give and take, but we learn, we accept these as gifts. We accept them as um, stepping stools in our spiritual awakening. And it's when you are spiritually awakening, you're opening up to gifts that will help other people evolve as well. And remember these things, whatever your experiences are in your life, where you chose them to be there so that you can help maybe other people in a certain way heal and ascend. Okay. So we have the chariot here. So this is your overall energy right here, right? This was the overall energy, and that's that stuck energy here. But there's a, maybe possibly a cancer around you um, with this chariot card. And this chariot card in this deck is really somebody who is fixated on um, moving fast in, in their spiritual awakening, I feel. You know, they're in this meditation pose, and they're really going within their heart chakra here is lit up and they're focused and fixated and they're very intuitive and they're going within and um, tapping into source within and understanding on a deeper level that we are source within. And this is this is the possibly a person that's around you or possibly um, somebody who you may meet, okay? Somebody that could be coming into your life who is on the same spiritual wavelength as you. I feel like this person has been doing the work and they're, they've been fixated as well on meeting somebody, on meeting their soulmate. You're on the same page. You're starting to attract people um, on a higher vibe. You're letting go of the lower vibe people and situations in your life that no longer serve you. And this is where you're, you're at now. And you, I, I believe you'll start seeing that more people will come in and surround you who vibe on the same wavelength and and who um who you offer energy to but who also reciprocates it's not just a take 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 you're not in that you're not around people anymore who were just taken from you and and not given back okay energetically so you are definitely going to start seeing soul um, signs of soul family coming in for you um and a soulmate Okay, or somebody you may know already is evolving as well too. And this is maybe recapturing some sort of romance or reconciliation with this person. And um, things seem, you're on this like honeymoon phase with this person where it feels new again, fresh again. Okay, so this can resonate however it resonates with you. This is how the message wants to come out today. All right, so let's take a look at you. We have the two of pentacles in reverse here. And we have the page of cups. So you are on the fence and you're not really um, even trying to open your heart just yet. Um, something is holding you back. All right. You are. You are indecisive. You ha you're not even in a place yet where you um, want to make a decision. You're not even trying to make a decision. You're just, you're, you're kind of standoffish and in this energy okay how are you f seeing things nine of cups in reverse you still have a little bit of insecurity about something and we have the knight of wands could be somebody um a, in your past 
this could be what needs to be resolved okay coming up you could uh, somebody in the past possibly a leo aries sag okay could have broke your heart could have been wishy-washy in and out and not um and maybe was kind of um only in it for the moment or in it for sex okay but you really were into this person i feel and i feel like you're still holding on to some insecurities um from this person okay they left you feeling um undesired undesirable that's what's wanting to come out so there may be something within you which is why you're still holding back and you're in this like like exactly how this stuck energy shows him in the mud like you can't move it's like it's like you're contemplating the, it's almost like ready to give up but you have to make a decision but you're not ready to even make a decision yet so he's sitting there and he's he's blank for a second blank like doesn't know whether what to do and so he's just taking a breather and that's kind of how i feel with the two of pentacles in reverse rather than being pulled back and forth and not sure what to do you've gotten tired of that feeling right now that you've kind of just shut it off for a second to take a breather and what it is what's coming up for you the messages are showing this wound of feeling undesired or undesirable because somebody who um somebody really played you in the past um and really acted um very reckless with your feelings and may have played you may have cheated on you may have been playing many people but they didn't choose you over the situation which may, left you feeling undesirable and that is my friend what you need to um release and affirm i am desirable i am wanted i am lovable I am desired, I am attractive, things like that, you, that you have to affirm. You may not realize, you may be looking your best right now. You've been spiritually taking care of yourself. You, People may be looking at you thinking you look beautiful, awesome, hot, you know, you are healthy looking, but you're still carrying this, this old story right here somewhere embedded in your subconscious that needs to be worked on um, in order for this situation to become more in a playful type relationship more in a moving forward to where you can actually start something i'm feeling like beginning phases here with you know the playfulness and the honeymoon i feel like it's somebody that could be coming in for you like i said a cancer possibly but um it's it's you're right there as soon as this this energy here is released okay all right, what else do we have got? We have the Justice card. A Libra could be coming in for you. And we have the Queen of Swords. So this is telling me definitely a little bit being closed off. You're in your emotions. You're hiding your emotions. But again, like I said, with the healthiness, you look so attractive and beautiful and healthy. You've been doing the work. You're taking care of yourself. But you have this sword right here. And I always think of Archangel Michael's sword with the blue light around it. Um, the blue flame. He's blue flame with blue light. Like you're holding on to him to protect you. Um, you protect your heart and you're right there. You're ready to venture out. You know, we have the Libra card here ready to, you know, make things happen and this justice card into to find somebody who's worth it for you. But there's this little injury inside because somebody did do you wrong in the past. And maybe that karma has it feels like that karma hasn't been resolved yet. And so you are learning how to forgive and move on, but you still have this desire for, for this person, whoever this was in your past, to make it right. You have like a strong desire for them to make it right for you. And that's maybe letting go of this desire for whoever hurt you in the past, letting go of the need, the desire, and maybe energetically um, speaking to their higher self um, and, and receiving forgiveness that way. Or, to, or healing each other that way. Maybe how you move forward right now. Maybe a physical apology or um, physical or seeing physical karma just isn't for right now. But it may come in the future. 
but you're letting it hold you back from um, starting something new with somebody else who's on the same page as you, who's on the same vibe as you, the same level as you, okay? So what advice do we get here? The judgment card, okay? And it was in reverse, but the judgment cards tell me to let go, stop looking back. You don't go back. Don't keep going back to this situation that no longer served you, that did hurt you. You're looking back. You're attached to the back. You thought about going back. And now it's time to turn around, fully turn around and embrace the journey that you're on. So you see how this person's looking backwards. Turn around and keep walking forwards towards the light, towards the version of you that you've been working so hard on. That is the, your advice from source right now, okay? And we have the Ace of Pentacles. Walking towards a beautiful new beginning that you can, look at this, material, material and spiritual prosperity. Keep walking forward. It's right around the corner. You may be running into your um, material gains first. You may have a new opportunity coming in your way. Um, and this could be where you may meet, maybe a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn as well too. Um, but you could be recapturing a romance with somebody in, um, that you may work with or somewhere or somebody you have this opportunity with. But again, if you know this person already, you know who I'm talking about. As soon as you detach from that, that past energy, a new opportunity with this person is, is going to arise. And you'll be able to open up and share your feelings um, with this person and you'll trust them with this justice card there'll be trust here and with the ace of pentacles the ace of earth it's all about trust in in a physical form trust in this person and, and and loving this person and wanting to grow with this person and it's a healthy new start it's a strong foundation okay Alrighty, I am going to pull, I forgot to pull one of these cards. So I'm going to pull one of these cards and see what this has to say. And then we're going to end it there. I'm not going to do an extended today. I feel like that message was pretty, pretty strong for you. It was cut and dry. It was clear. And I feel like some of you already know the answer. You already know who or what you're attached to from the past. It needs to, you know, you need to say bye-bye. Bye-bye to... And move forward. We have let, <laughs> letting go. I think this was my theme last week in all my reads. Letting go. Letting go. Okay? Because if you're holding on to something too tightly, it's actually more, it's, it's so painful. As soon as you let it go and you no longer suffer and, and you release it, the you know it it just feels so good that's all i have to say it just feels so good to let go but you let go of this situation and you embrace it and you release the energy that you're focusing that you focus on to this situation you may find that it resolves itself and it comes back around and you'll close this door this door all right and another one will open but your person may come back around and offer you that fit that physical apology that you're looking for but it all starts with letting go um to these attachments from the past and anything that holds you back any stories that hold you back anything that holds you back and asking for spirit to help you with that is a good place to start Alrighty, Libra. I love that. Please comment below. Please like and subscribe. You guys are amazing. Take care.